So I, NSGS, AB, and JS had a brilliant idea. Definitely not a video idea stolen from my video suggestion tab within my Discord by professional woman lover to try to build, max out, beef up a level one character without actually leveling them up. So that's what I did live on Twitch, make sure to follow. I'm actually gonna go live on Twitch a couple hours after this video is uploaded and do Yoi Mia Pulse, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. I'm gonna be maxing out a level one character. So right now I only have three level one characters because I did the thing where you level up your characters to 20 like this, and then you ascend them, and then you get a free wish right here as you can see. Darn it. So I did that with most characters except these three, so I only have two options left for Yenfei and Rosaria. Between the two of these characters, Rosaria and Yenfei, I've decided to I've decided to max out Yenfei. What maxing out means is pretty simple. I'm gonna give her the beefiest stuff. I'm gonna give her, instead of this apprentice's notes, I'm going to give her a level 90 Scarred Atlas. I might actually try out Dodico Tales later because it's actually great for charge attack and normal attacks, which Genfei also does a lot of. But yeah, I'm gonna give her the Skyward Atlas and make her as beefy as possible. Let's see how strong I can make a level one Yenfei. So I know there's a couple artifacts that you can use for her. Wanderer's Troop and Crimson Witch of Flames. For the first test, I'm gonna be using Yenfei by herself. So let's see if I can find any good Wanderer's Troop artifacts. I don't think I have many, but I'll see. And finally, for the goblet, we're just gonna go for our best pyro one. What this artifact is gonna do, it's gonna get an extra crit damage substat. And then after getting that crit damage substat, it's gonna get three rolls into crit rate. Watch. Motherfu- So, the plan was to get extremely good artifacts for her. I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know about- I don't know about that, Chief. Alright, instead of getting her Wander's Troop, let's just replace Bennett's artifacts with hers. And Bennett's, uh, five-star golden hat, because I don't use purple artifacts. Which tallies up Yenfei's final crit rate to crit damage at a good old 37.5 to 120. Can we balance out the ratios a little bit? Maybe this clad piece is the play here. 7% more crit rate. You know, it's a slightly better ratio for that 1 to 2 ratio. She's at constellation 2 because I got a little bit lucky. Got some- oh, these are some good constellations. And talents, obviously they're at level 1 because she's stuck at level 1. And I can't get any more talent levels up unless I send her, which I can't do because she's gonna be stuck at level 1. Which means, unfortunately, I don't get these passive talent bonuses, which are actually crucial to building Yenfei. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. You know, I'm leveling up a level 1 character. What do I expect, huh? Thousands of damage? Nah. If I break 1k, I'll be surprised. Later, I'm gonna try to put her on with a full team, but for now, it's just gonna be Yenfei. So now that I have her ult almost charged up, let's do a let's do a level one Yenfei test against level uh, 90 Pyro, Cryo Regisfying. We'll see how it goes. I don't know any Yenfei rotations. All I know is charge three sigils and then use ult. So what I'll do is I'll get my three sigils, charge attack, E, get it back, charge attack, ult. Charge attack, auto attack, charge attack, let's see, numbers, 3.7k, oh my god, what, level 1, hello? Annihilating level 93 boss, holy sh- Wait a minute, I got like, <laughs> I actually did more damage than I thought, I got like, uh, one seventh of itself, it's pretty, it's pretty good, can I, can, oh, I was about to say, can I, uh, kill it in one try? <laughs> But, but, uh, now that we tried out the Skyward Atlas, let's see how the, let's see how the level 1 Dodico Tales tries out. Because I actually level 90 Dodico Tales before I got the Skyward Atlas, so it's been just sitting in my inventory, but now we can actually put it to use if I, uh, if I, if I plan on using level 1 Yenfei and Spiral Abyss, you know? You know? You know, before we actually go in, let's compare the Dodico stats to, uh, Skyward. So base attack is 454, base attack 674, wow, that's a lot more. It's more than 200 more. So that's why people get 5-star weapons, huh? And the attack percent, 33%. But it's 55% on Dodoko Tail, so that kinda kinda makes up for it, you know? A little bit. Testing out Yenfei with R5 Dodoko Tails. Let's go. Oh, how did that not kill me? Huh? Oh, I see, I see. I'm just godly like that. So we're hitting 3.4k if we crit. You know what, that's- I mean, I think it's definitely a little bit less than the Skyward, but I mean, it's 
It's fairly close. Let's make a support team for Yenfei. First of all, I obviously got to get Xing Cho. Because although he's level 50, he applies uh, Hydro. Level 50, that's 50 times more than Yenfei. Along with Xing Cho, I could use... Obviously, we're going to... Yeah, Bennett. I mean, we all know Bennett's crazy with his ult damage bonus and for the final character sure mona you're, you're right mona let's see how much a level one yenfei can do let's see first of all preemptive shincho e ult then it's q mona ult yenfei go to corolla oh let's go actual damage Oh my god, I got it 50% HP, <laughs> 14k level 1 Yenfei, let's go, sheesh. Now the thing is, I could have just stopped right here, this could have been the final level 1 Yenfei showcase, but no, my lust, my greed for power, for damage, it grew, it overwhelmed me, and let's just say, it led to some uh, consequences. C6 Bennett, wait, oh god, that would actually be good for this, wouldn't it? Oh no, that would actually be good. Oh no. One C6 Bennett. Do I C6 Bennett for Yenfei level one? <laughs> do I do it? I would ruin my account, but like, make Yenfei do a bit more damage. Constellation 6 Bennett. On surface level, it looks innocent. Charming, in fact, with its 15% pyro damage bonus, but... It's well known amongst the Genshin community to be the worst constellation for any character because it has one additional effect, infusing your weapon with pyro damage. Although it doesn't seem that unfortunate to new players, it is devastating as Genshin Impact relies on a careful fragile balance between elemental reactions and so pyro infusion essentially ruins Bennett's viability in many team compositions. But would I risk it all for a slight damage buff with Yenfei? Well, you'll just have to keep watching to find out on the next God, episode of Dragon Ball. Ball. Let's do... Let's do a... Let's do a coin flip. Let's do a coin flip. C6 Bennett coin flip. Heads for a C6 Bennett. Tails or no C6. Cross your fingers. Ooh. God. We, we, li we live to see another day. We live to see another day. Eyes of relief and sighs of discontent all at the same time. Oh, one, more, one more time, one more time, one more time. Bruh. Heads, heads, heads. One click away. Now we do big number, right? Now that we have C6 Bennett, we do big crazy number, right? That's how it works. Preemptive Xingqiu. Xingqiu. One ult. One ult. Hook to Corolla. And... 17k, 17k. I think that was the with the bonus, Bennett bonus. Okay, okay, that's more damage, that's more damage. That's more damage. It was worth it, see? <laughs> see, C6 Bennett was worth it, copium. <laughs> Did I, did I read? Sword, Claymore, or pole arm wielding characters? Wait a minute. What? You're still not following gratis status at twitch.tv backslash gratis status? I can't believe it. Man, you're missing out on so much fun. Just click the link and follow, bro. What are you waiting for?